Hey, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Brother Thumb to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Uh, today's title, I think it might be uh, Esau is the original OG. You know, OG going into original gangster. When the word gangster means member of a, of a violent crime group. Which the whole nation is gangsters, if, if you want to put it that way, because the whole nation is violent. The whole nation commits crimes, man. You know, but in terms of what they call outlaws or thugs or anything, anything bad, Esau is, is the originator, man. You know, I, I want to do this, you know, just, just because for the simple fact of that. When you talk about gangsters now, you talk about, you know, Chicago niggas, Bloods, Crips, GDs, BDs, all, all, all that shit, man. You, you, Esau paints them as terrorists of the community, people who can't get right, people who the system has failed. You know, it's mostly Negroes and Latinos, you know. These, these are the gangsters that are being talked about that cause shootings, that do robberies, that do extortion. You know, a lot of the uh, confusion of face Sicilians, they're into that extortion game. You know, this, this, this is what they, the modern gangster is. But I'm going to take it back through this. In this video, we're going to go into the original gangsters, man. I'm just going to get you one example. You know, Lord Williams, the spirit is still on me. We might make it to a series. But I'm going to give one example of, of a gangster, Butch Cassidy, man. This this nigga was just, just as bad or even worse than the gangsters they got today, man. You know, all, all that gang shit comes from the Wild West. That comes from Esau, man. You know, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Got Jesse James. And, and all the other low-level Edomite outlaws man but the thing about it is these Edomites when they talk about their uh, gangsterism or their past gangster um, figures man they paint them like superheroes man because I watched a video I watched a documentary before this before I did this video yesterday on, on Butch Cassidy I thought I was watching a damn superhero movie man they they made this nigga seem like like, like, like he didn't do nothing wrong, man. Like he was just living a life of adventure. Like he was fucking Indiana Jones, man. But no, man, this nigga was out here committing robberies, bank robberies, man. And then they, they try to, um, they try to boost up his reputation by saying he never killed the man. But so the fuck what? His game probably killed people. Even still, he still committed robberies, man. He, you, you Edomites are the original gangsters. Y'all are the ones that need to be, um, subdued man because if, if jake gets any of the of the gang of the shootouts they get there from esau man you know but before we go into to to that nigga that nigga butch cassidy we gonna go into this habakkuk 2 real quick it said behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith there ain't ain't nothing right in these edomites man these niggas ain't right, man. Just because they wear suits now, these are the same motherfuckers who was out there sticking up trains, you know, robbing people, raping women, being terrorists in the land, man. You know, they even got fucking video games idolizing this shit. I, I got the shit. Red Dead Redemption, man. You know, that's, that's part of the inspiration for this video, man. It's a game that idolizes being an outlaw, that idolizes... Having shootouts, idolizes, uh, robbing trains and doing, just being wicked, just being an Edomite, you know. But hey, this, 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 this is why we gotta bring this shit out, man. Because the more Esau wants to be on the offense with us, we gonna get, we gonna bring offense ten times harder, man. We gonna bring out all the old wickedness that you did and the current wickedness, man. This, this, this twenty twenty year prophecy two year prophecy two, man. 
is going to be real heavy, man. And we must continue the, the offensive. You know, because that's what we on. We on the offensive. But not to get out of off topic. Habakkuk 2 verse 5. Yea, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home who enlarges his desire as hell. Right. He didn't he didn't stay in England. Starting off, he didn't stay in England. He brought his his his, his bitch ass over here to America and established the 13 colonies. From the 13 colonies, they got the Louisiana Purchase. Then they continued their, their Western expansion to what they call manifest destiny. That's their transgression by wine, thinking that the most high will ultimately manifest destiny is true to a point because the most high did give you bitch ass niggas this land. But not knowing that this is where you're going to be destroyed, you know, it said neither keep it at home who desire, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him? And say, woe to him that it creatures that which is not his. This is not your land. This isn't your original place of being. Because you're supposed to be back there in Petra. Where none of you Edomites don't want anything to do with. You're supposed to be what they call the land of Jordan now. But you, you niggas like to travel. You niggas like to be everywhere you don't belong, man. You even got fucking Edomites in Antarctica. You know? It says, which is not his, how long into him that laded himself with thick clay? Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee? And thou shalt be for booties unto him because thou hast spoiled many nations. Many nations. These Edomites have spoiled, man. We can just we can just keep on bringing the history and bring this precept out every time, man. And it's going to hit right every time. Because all you niggas do is rape, rob, murder, steal and kill, man. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land and of the city and of all that dwell therein, man. This is why you Edomites are about to get fucked up, you know. But with that being said, let's go into this bitch ass nigga Butch Cassidy. Outlaw, you know, basically a fucking white superhero to these people, man. You know, Butch Cassidy. Outlaw Butch Cassidy, also known as Robert Leroy Parker, partnered with the Sundance Kid to rob banks and trains in the early 1900s, man. No, no, nobody calls this man a terrorist. They call him a, an American legend. You know, when I when I watch the video, the first sentence in the video is, this is what American legends are made of. Idolizing this shit, making this shit seem cool, man. You know? Let's go down here, Young Outlaw. By all accounts, Cassidy was a charming thief who was well-liked and who never, it's believed, killed anyone. His first taste of major robbery came in 1889 when he and three other cowboys made off of more than $20,000 from the San Miguel Valley Bank in Telluride, Colorado. That's a lot of money, especially when you think of it in, in the 18, 1889, man, that's probably about... That's probably about fifty to hundred thousand dollars in today's money, man, and that's big. You know, that's big, and this is when he's just starting off. After purchasing a rent in Dubois, Wyoming, in 1890, he continued to rustle cattle and horses. In 1894, the law caught up with him, and he was jailed for two years for the crime. So he he's he's out here stealing niggas' horses and stealing niggas' cattle, man. Continue to be wicked. Continue to be a a, a, a Edomite, man. You know, so upon his full release in 1896, Cassidy resumed life as a criminal with several other well-known outlaws, including Harry Longball, a.k.a. the Sundance Kid, William Ellsworth, Elsie Lay, Ben Kilpatrick, Todd Texan, and Harvey Logan, Kid Curry. And these these is just street names, man. The same way Jake got street names in the hood. You got Pookie. You got Ray Ray. You got, I think motherfuckers got kicking my door. We, this is why we gotta get out of here. We're tired of living next to people. But anyway, you know you got Pookie, you got Ray Ray, you got all the all the hood names. Where that come from? Esau, man. Esau got these street names, man. A group known as the Wild Bunch. Hey, they was they was putting names for their gang together. Same way Jake do, man. You know what? What's a gang out here? Eastside Locos. That's just one gang that I know because I used to stay down in twelve. Eastside Locos, whatever. You know, you got O Block, 
You got Lamb Ryan. All, all that all that Chicago, all that all that shit goes back to Esau, man. Don't let it be confused like like Jake came up with all of these wicked inventions, man. They they got it from the wicked himself. You know? Beginning with an August 1896 bank robbery in, in Montpelier, Idaho, in which the gang made off with seven thousand dollars the group hit banks and trains in south dakota new mexico nevada and wyoming man you know what uh what what jake will call hitting a stain hitting a lick this is what these niggas was doing man these niggas was robbing people man but when 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 they're talked about they're talked they're talked up as legends People make it seem like these men were just living a life of, like I said, living like fucking Indiana Jones, man. And it's not true. You niggas were calling, causing hell, man. Between their robberies, the men hit out with out the hole in the wall pass located in Johnson County, Wyoming, where a large number of outlaw gangs had their hideouts. With each new robbery, the bunch became better known and better liked by American public eager to read about the exploits. See, the... Motherfuckers made profit just off telling these people stories by making it seem as big as big a big adventure story. When these niggas is committing wickedness, man, the robberies too became bigger. One of the largest was a seventy thousand dollar haul from a train just outside of Folsom, New Mexico. Come on, man, seventy racks is a lot of money in, in today's money. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know, these 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 are just Edomites having fun. These are just Edomites doing what you know, living life to their best. Fuck all that, man. You know, fuck all that. I don't want to even want to read more about about this nigga, man, because Edomites don't bring this up when they talk about world-renowned terrorists. They talk about Osama bin Laden. They talk Malcolm X. They talk about other people, but they don't ever want to bring up people of their own nation. They don't ever want to bring up the wickedness that they've committed. You know? See, it's the scriptures on robbery, and I'm going to close it out, man. Just to see what the scriptures say. You know? Ooh, Proverbs 21 and 7. Let's start. Yeah, verse 6. The getting of treasures by lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro from them that seek death. The robbery, the robbery of the wicked shall destroy them because they refuse to do judgment. <laughs> so the robbery that y'all niggas committed, and we all know the Lord judges by nations, the shit that y'all people done is gonna get y'all destroyed. You know, once again, we we we're just proving, we're just bringing out the evidence. You know, we're just bringing out the ways, bringing out the things that Yahweh Hashem Yahsha didn't forget about. That you Edomites want to sweep on the rug. You Edomites want to glorify, uh, glor glor glorify, and act like it's a, a noble, fun, and adventure, adventurous thing to do, man. Come on now. We all know that. Amos three. Amos three verse ten. For they know not to do right, saith the Lord, who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, an adversary that shall be about the land, and he shall bring down thy strength from thee, and thy palaces shall be spoiled. Right? Because y'all got y'all riches by spoiling people. Y'all got y'all riches by uh, hitting licks, hitting stains, man. You know, this 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 is another reason why you're going to be destroyed. Last one right here, Nahum 3 verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. It's clearly evident. Because you got bitch niggas like uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Jesse James, all the other uh, Western outlaws. Be being Edomites, man. You know, you can't really be mad at them because this is who they are, man. They're Edomites. They they, they don't know. They don't know uh, living a, 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 a upright lifestyle. Doing things the right way. You know, all they know is commit wickedness. All they know is commit robbery. All they know is murder, kill, um, extort people. You know, do 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 it the wrong way, man. 
You know, he this nigga can't get right, man. You know, but with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about you? How about you? How about you? Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Uh, y'all bash him, y'all shot, brag a thumb to the hopeful elect. You know, I just wanted to bring this video out. I'm not too sure if I'm going to make it a series, but, you know, in in this time, man, you know, I think just, just the spirit at this moment is going to be continual, um, continual edification on the Edomites, you know, coming from me, man, because I, I think that's just the spirit I'm in. You know, once again, shalom, brothers, shalom, stay up.